we have completed the superficial fungal infections, superficial skin fungal infections, and then we completed subcutaneous fungal infections. Now we are coming to dimorphic fungi and the opportunistic fungal infections. Opportunistic, otherwise also called systemic fungal infections. So let's start now. So in dimorphic, uh, the main thing is here, dimorphic disease is usually, usually what endemic? It's endemic to one particular region. Mostly it's in America, either North America or South America or you know Central America, different, different. But in India, among all the dimorphic fungi, only one is very common. If you remember, that is your histoplasmosis. Histoplasma. Histoplasmosis, histoplasmosis is the only disease that has been usually uh, not very common. But it has been isolated in India, not other things. Other diseases are very, very rare or it never happened in India. Okay, so transmission usually, all the dimorphic fungi, they are uh, you know, through the inhalation of the spores. One common feature for all of them, what is that? What they do? They usually cause which infection? Pulmonary infection. They cause pulmonary infection. They cause the pulmonary infection. Okay, remember that. And then, you know, the shortcut already told you, blasto, uh, the shortcut to remember this dimorphic fungi is very easy. What you're going to remember? Just remember, whenever someone asks dimorphic, you give the dangerous things. Blast, you'll give a blast, and then you give a uh, blast, and then you give a hit. Blast, and then you give a hit, and then you do a cock, and then do a paracock, and then you do a spot give a pen all these dangerous things will be the names okay so blastomyces blastomyces dermatitis histoplasma and then comes the coccidiosis paracoccidiosis so your sporotrich shanghai and penicillin marnipi only sporotrich shanghai it goes in subcutaneous mycosis subcutaneous uh, fungal infection okay subcutaneous infection rest all of them are causing the uh, other uh, pulmonary infection even uh, sporotrix also as a complication it can cause pulmonary infection but uh, specifically sporotrix causes more you remember the row of the ulcer gardner's disease that is the one okay row of ulcer gardner disease asteroid body those things are specific to sporotrix now let's go to individual disease blaster here some pictures i have written on the side but then here you don't need to read about this amontia and uh emergomyces. they are not important the rest all diseases we are going to talk individually okay Let's start. Histoplasmosis. The name is very, very, very important. Frequently asked in the exams also. Okay, instead of histoplasmosis, what they can give you in the option? They'll give you darling disease. Darling disease. Otherwise, also called caves disease or caves, caveman's disease, caver's disease. So many names are there. You remember? Darlings and cave. Okay. You hit your darling in cave. Hit your darling in cave. Okay. When histoplasmosis comes, just remember, hit your darling in Cave, darling. Okay, not that darling viva. Darling viva is vibrio cholera, darting motility. That's a different story. Here you just what hit the darling in cave. That's it. Okay. Then the costive agent again. It's the histoplasma capsulatum. Capsulatum. I'm stressing on this. The name is capsulatum, but there is no true capsule. Remember, no true capsule. It is a false. It looks like a capsule. That's not a capsule. Okay. So what? There's only one uh, fungi repeat, um, repeating again and again. It's only cryptococcus is the only fungi with the capsule. None of them. None of them. They're just the name. Okay. They don't have anything. It's just the name. Okay. Don't make mistake. I made mistake in one of my exams. So you don't repeat that. Okay. During my PGT. Now seen in the North America. Histoplasmus usually seen in the North America. That's what it's also called. Ohio fever. They also call it Ohio Valley fever. Also it's called. So this is important. You have to know. Ohio, North America is important. Why? Because the, the, sometimes they ask you this disease present in which area. So mainly Ohio. So that's what you also call it as Ohio Valley fever. And one more thing. You hit the darling in the cave. Cave me kya hota? Bat hota hai. You know the bat. The, the bat. You know the bat. The dangerous one. So what happened? How the histoplasmus? How do we get histoplasmus? This is usually through the inhalation of what dropping? Bird Bird or bat, especially bat. Any bird it can be, but bat is special. If the bat, if you get the uh, bat in your option, that would be okay. And if you remember for cryptococcus, you remember what is the drop for cryptococcus? It's the PGN, PGN droppings, P -A -G -O, PGNs. Okay. And remember one more, remember cetacosis, chlamydia, cetacosis, cetacosis. There, which bird we taught was parrot. See, these are the important birds related. Okay, birds related. Of course, in virus, we have a, a, a bat, a separate food bat. We are not Ebola, you know, all that. We'll go talk there. But here, in crypto, it's the pigeon. And for cetacosis, it's the parrot. Okay, remember. Okay, these are the birds related question. So that's what I'm stressing on it. Okay, now next. The, it mimics. Uh, the histoplasmus usually mimics the TB. 
Okay, there are many diseases that we mix the TB. If you remember in mycobacterium itself, mycobacterium avium intracellular, it looks like a TB. And even con um, mycobacterium consasi also looks like a TB. And your pneumocystis carnage going to come. That also looks like a TB. These are few diseases which looks or mimics the tuberculosis. Okay, okay. So this is also a question. This was a question. All your question, histoplasmus, anything can be asked. So now well, let's go to important diagnostic part. Diagnostic part, what do you see? So uh, it mimics the TB we just told. The, the mold form in the during, so the two forms, the diamond form, two forms. They can be mold or they can be in the yeast form. If in the mold you see this tuberculate macroconidia, tuberculate macroconidia, not much asked, which is remember tuberculate macroconidia, important in the yeast form. In yeast form, there was a narrow paste, narrow paste budding, budding was seen. Here, picture was not given, it's like this. Like this, the budding cell, but the, there's a narrow base. There is narrow, okay? Narrow, because in blastomycosis, it's a little different. So this is the narrow base, okay? So this is the, uh, you see, narrow base budding. That's it. That's a question asked. Narrow base, okay? Not wide base. Wide base, kis mein aayega? Blastomycosis. Mein. We want to talk about it now, okay? Now see this one. Now, uh, when you go to the uh, North American blastomycosis, the blastomycosis is usually called as North American. Because South American is usually paracoccidiosis. Paracoccidiosis is called South American blastomycosis. North American is the real blastomycosis. That is the blastomycosis. So, this is also called as Gilchrist. Gilchrist. Okay, remember. Kya kata? Gilchrist, a cricket player, Gilchrist. He usually have blast after cricket match. Mein achcha khelega to, he usually go and have blast in Chicago. Chicago mein wo blast karega. He goes and uh, of course he's from uh, he's not from uh, Chicago, but he goes to Chicago to have a blast. Okay, Gilchrist, the cricket player, after cricket when he won the cricket match, he go and have blast in what Chicago? That's it. Ye yaad kar lena, okay, this is for your blastomyces, blastomycosis. So blastomycosis. Now you see Gilchrist or Chicago disease. So it's cause which is blastomyces dermatitis. So the most important thing here, I want to stress, look at this picture. This is what? This is the picture, figure of eight. Figure of eight. That means here, see here, I'm going to have a narrow based budding. But in blastomyces, it was, it was what? Wide based, wide based budding, wide based budding. Okay, that's a question on that. Wide based budding or figure of eight. Everything is same. Even if you forgot, also, B is almost looking like eight. B total tilt karo, 8 R jayega, okay? So figure of 8 or um, uh, or B for wide based, okay? Wide or broad, wide or broad, they're same, no? So B for B blastomycosis, okay? So that's it, okay? So here it is. So it is a broad or wide based budding, wide budding, wide based budding, okay? Miss the bear, it's long, okay. That is narrow, histo is narrow. Here it is broad, broad or wide, whatever you can say. Broad based, you can see, you can say broad also, it's fine. Broad, so broad is for blastomycosis B for B, okay. Broad based or uh, wide based, okay. And the figure of eight appearance, that's it. This is the question, okay. You will remember that easily, so no doubt in it. Now, next go to cochidiomycosis. Cochidiomycosis, this disease, is somewhat you know, very, very, it looks very similar to. Uh, here are these pictures on your side. These pictures, if you see, okay, you can have really uh, nice questions from here. It's very interesting. That's what. So, cochidiomycosis. See, here what to do. Uh, how I remember. See, I say, yadu karo. Cock hai na. Ek achcha cock bana denge. Hum. Cock. Right. My picture is so bad. So, please don't uh, mind it. So, ye cock hai. Thik hai. Cock ko. Cock dekho. Kahan par beta hua hai. It is sitting on a. Barrel. It is sitting on a barrel. Barrel me bed ke kya kata hai? Spherules of spores. Spherules of spores. Okay. Oh, Main aise kyu bol rahe ho? Ye ek to apko cock to cock ho gaya. Fine. Okay. We are a new topic. Ha. Cock cock ho gaya. Ye barrel shaped, barrel shaped arthrospore. We call this barrel shaped arthrospore. Barrel shaped arthrospore. Okay. Ye kya hai? It is the spherules. Ye kata hai na? Spherules can the spores kata. Spherules cock. Okay. Or you remember it, even if you forgot also, Arthur Scork. Arthur. Mr. Arthur Scork is sitting on the uh, standing on the barrel shaped arthrospore, barrel shaped barrel, and then it is eating on what? Spherules. Spherules are kata hai. Tikke? Remember like that. So easy. So I, I'll tell you, I'll come with why I'm saying this. So cockatomarcus other name is called desert rheumatism. Ye kaha par hai? Desert mein. Ye cock kaha par hai? Desert mein hai. Cock is in the desert. Cock is in the desert. So desert rheumatism. Desert valley, um, desert rheumatism or desert valley rheumatism, all are fine. Okay, desert valley rheumatism. So rheumatism word aagya to that is your cock. Cock ko kya hai? Rheumatism mein. Ye ka, cock ko kya hai? Cock has rheumatism. 
rheumatism, rheumatism. Okay, okay, rheumatoid arthritis, like rheumatoid arthritis, or uh, you sometimes they call a Joaquin Valley also, San, jo uh, San Joaquin Valley also, or it is the Desert Valley rheumatism. Okay, now see the cost evasion, cochidiosis imitis, cochidiosis imitis we told, and why we say rheumatism, why we call rheumatism, joint cup problem. So what, apart from the pulmonary infection, you see they have a lot of joint issues and skin, uh, arthralgia joint, and skin they have erythema nodosum, so it is very typical to what your rheumatic uh, rheumatoid arthritis, not rheumatic fever, rheumatoid, rheumatic, uh, rheumatism we call, or rheumat, um, uh, uh, it is like a rheumatic, it is rheumatic, uh, the joint pain and the skin, everything looks like what? Rheumatoid arthritis, that's what, okay. Got it? So that mimics the rheumatism. Now see, this picture will be given. This is the barrel-shaped arthrospore, okay? Barrel-shaped arthrospore, AB question, eh? Okay, barrel, barrel, barrel. It's called the mega cock arm for the barrel to upper Okay, the question was asked. And this is the spherules. This is the spherules, 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 spherules. Okay, spherules with see inside you see all the spores inside. Okay, right? Bus, very easy. So again, spherules with endospores and barrel shaped arthrospore. 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 Bus. Okay, very, very important. Very simple and easy. That's it. Okay, so arthur ko cock hai, barrel ko beta hai. Oh, oh, it's what? It's in the spherules, kata, spores, kata hai. Bas. Okay, that's it. And after kya, I mean, kya kya hota, kaku rheumatism hai. Rheumatism. It looks like a rheumatism. That's what we call desert valley rheumatism. It looks like a rheumatoid arthritis. Okay, got it? Now, paracochidiosis. That's all. That's what uh, this much you have to remember for your cochidiosis. Now, paracochidiosis. And remember, in paracochidiosis, the other name for paracochidiosis, as I told you, we, are, we call it as what? We call it as paracochidiosis, otherwise called what? South American. South American blastomycosis. South American blastomycosis. North American is the original blastomycosis. Paracoco, kya bolte hai? South American we are calling. Okay, PS, PS. Okay, PS. Uh, South American blastomycosis. Now, uh, before going to that, the cost of agent is paracochidiosis brasiliensis. Okay, important is the stature. Both bar. I think they have repeated several times. Okay, several times. You can ask your seniors, who, everyone, your uh, colleagues, or whoever, they have given this question to be asked. This one is what? Cartwheel appearance. The budding cell, it looks like the cartwheel. Cart wheel or ship wheel, anything, cart wheel, ship wheel, you know, ship wheel, sailor's wheel, whatever, any wheel, okay, wheel like appearance, okay, wheel like appearance. Or sometimes it could be like this, it's called what? Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse ko do year hota hai na? It, you know that Mickey Mouse, right? It's like this, the Mickey Mouse, right? So Mickey Mouse appearance. But okay, cartwheel or uh, ship wheel or Mickey Mouse. If this one comes, that's paracock. But you have to remember the name is a paracock, means para. Okay, additional paracock. So that's what. So this question also can be asked. Cost vision para. Mainly the picture will be asked. So please remember everything. The pictures are important here in the dimorphic fungi. So east form, as I told you, same thing. Okay, it's the cartwheel or ship wheel, cartwheel or a ship wheel, or other one is your Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. This question will be asked many times. Okay. So, very, very important. That is important question. So, don't forget. Okay. One more cartwheel. Did you remember which virus is a cartwheel? Which virus is a cartwheel? Which virus? Rota. Exactly. Rota. 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 Rota also has the rota virus also has the cartwheel appearance. Remember that was the question. Okay. So, cartwheel do jaga. Ek paracock, rota virus. Okay. And Mickey Mouse in the paracock. Pencil, uh, penciliosis or uh, penciliosis or telaromycosis. This sometimes the, in in exam instead of penciliosis they give you telaromycosis only. They'll give you telaromycosis. So telaromycosis, the causative agent is penicillium marnipi. Penicillium marnipi. Penicillium marnipi. Okay. Now infection in HIV patient causes skin lesions like uh, it causes the bumps and also hepatosplenomegaly. Okay, this is the one a common uh, in penciliosis is common in uh, HIV patient. It causes skin lesion hepatosplenomegaly. In sabro dextrosagar, you see this type of calling. What is this calling? So, somewhat greenish gray. Okay, gray you can say, grayish calling. You have this grayish colony. Okay, pencil is this grayish colony, somewhat green grayish colony. And then look at this appearance. What is this looks like? This is, looks like a, if you remember what it is, it's like a painting brush. So it is the paint brush or broomstick. Broomstick appearance. Paint pressure, broomstick appearance. That's the question. Pencil nurses, what do you need? A pencil, paint karne ke liye, what do you need? A pencil, 
pen, you will draw and then you do a paintbrush or broomstick. Okay. Broomstick say you will do the painting. Right. Okay. So that is for thalaromycosis. So same thing. I'm repeating again. Pencil means it has the broomstick. Broom stick. Or it is the which one you are? Paintbrush. Paintbrush appearance. Okay. Paintbrush appearance. Right. Nice. Now next. Now we are going to the so dimorphic is over. That's all. Okay. Four other you already studied yesterday. So that's not going to be talked here. Uh, so opportunistic fungal infections may very important diseases we have here only the candidiasis, cryptococcus, aspergillosis, and your mucormycosis we're going to study. They cause opportunistic infections. Candida, you know. Candida, many species. The, the most common one until now is candida albicans. The most common one. Followed by them, if you have dubliances, glabrata, cruse, curis, they all we all have all these things. Okay. So the, it's usually on one species these days, they can ask you. So auris, candida auris is one of the dangerous one in uh, fungal infection, which has high resistance to azoles. Okay. So it's very, very difficult to uh, 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 stop this disease, especially after COVID, it has increased a lot. Okay. Candida auris has become very high, but albicans is the most common one. You know that one. Predisposing factor, you know, candida is usually common for immunocompromised patients, especially HIV patients or patients who are on uh, steroid therapy. Okay, and diabetic patients and uh, pregnancy, these are the commonly, you know, patients with common indescribable outcomes. Okay, yeah, older, young patient, anybody can have. So, this lesion, you know, mucoglutinous lesion, this is an oral thrush. So, oral thrush is caused by oral candidiasis or oral thrush so by candida infection. And this is a vaginal discharge, vaginal discharge, vaginal discharge. Okay, vaginal discharge. So, how you describe it? curdy white or cheesy this picture can come and they can ask your patient is having pregnancy and this type of lesion what is it okay so you have to remember that is candidiasis okay so oropharyngeal is oral thrush you told you and in vulvovaginal candies you have what curdy white curdy white or cheesy or we call it as cheesy cheese like cheesy White discharge. Okay. So in vaginal discharge, apart from uh, the three diseases, important uh, vaginal discharge, remember, candidiasis, trichomonas vaginosis, and bacterial vaginosis. Okay. So this is curdy white discharge. You want pH less than four. It would be acidic pH for candidiasis. That's all. And ease of visual tracheal candidiasis is very common in HIV patients, you know. And uh, balanitis, balanophthitis is also common in men, especially when they get uh, sexual, it's usually uh, sexually transmitted, of course. Um, uh, not only really sexual, even whether everything you can have this uh, balanitis in the penis, in the penis region, you know, they can have this itching, itching, severe itching, uh, and the uh, inflammation of the uh, penis. And then onychomycosis is a nail infection, can cause nail infection also, candidiasis. Systemic infections are very rare, meningitis, pneumonia, sepsis, arthritis, but it's very, very rare, don't you think? Now the diagnostic part is important. So on the wet smear, normal smear or wet mount, what do you do? You, you will see the budding yeast cell. If you remember, it's like this, just simply like this. Okay. Like a histoplasma cell, you saw, no? Same way. Here also it would be like this. Okay. So it is a budding yeast cell with pseudo hyphae because some, some of the things may, it's not real hyphae. It looks like a hyphae. You know, the, the budding itself, you know, it looks like this. So it looks like a hyphae, not real hyphae, but a hyphae, pseudo hyphae. Okay. So pseudo hyphae and BYC because this is coming in the yeast like. Canada is yeast like. No, we just spoke it's a yeast like. So budding yeast or yeast like. Okay. And see this picture. What is this picture? This is called. See, elongated like this. This is the germ tube. This is the germ tube. So germ tube test is also positive, especially for candida albicans. Remember that, candida albicans. That's important question. Okay. So germ tube test is positive for candida, especially we're talking about candida albicans, to differentiate candida albicans from other disease. Plus that phenomena, what, how do you do a germ tube? It's just basically, what do you take a plasma, you take the plasma, and then you mix the colony. Candida ka colony ka mix karwado, then leave it for up to four hours. After four hours, you take and make a wet mount. When you see the wet mount, what happened? You will see this uh, germ tube is growing. This is also called what? Reynolds, Reynolds broad phenomena. Reynolds broad phenomena. Reynolds broad phenomena. Okay, important question. Frequently asked. Germ tube test to Reynolds broad phenomena, especially for Candida albicans. Only for Candida albicans, which differentiate. There are other some species also, but we don't stress on that. Albicans, remember, okay, to differentiate albicans from the other species. And uh, as we told, it's a, it's a yeast, yeast-like. So it's a creamy white color in the SD agar. In cornmeal agar, you'll see what? You'll see colorful colonies. 
different different color each species is different different color albicans is different dublenses is different or is different everyone have the paraxillus everybody uh, everything has their own different different color okay so that's a chromagar if they ask chromagar where it is used you can see it's used for candidiasis c for c candidiasis okay okay cornmeal also uncloned cornmeal agar is a special meal where you will see the chlamydo spore chlamydo spore okay chlamydo spore so that's also important chlamydo spore also characteristic for c for c everything is c candida all c c c even g looks like a c so remember all these things okay G, okay, all these things comes in the thing, and of course, beta beta uh, D glucon assay we have special assay. We do ELISA test for this beta D glucon. So this is not specific for candidates for all three things. What are the three is Candida one, Aspergillus, another one is your pneumocystis, pneumocystis, but not for your muca. It's not for muca. It's only for these things: Candida, Aspergillus, and the pneumocystis. That's it. Okay, cap. Cap, beta glucon, cap. Okay, yes. And cryptococcus neoformis, it's the only capsulated fungi. Again, I'm repeating the only capsulated fungi is cryptococcus, only capsulated. And it's common in which patients? HIV. In HIV patient, the most common cause of meningitis is which one you are? This only. This is the most common one. Okay. And age old patient. So in SDA, we already told it's a yeast. So cryptococcus is a yeast. So it will be the colonies will be, it's a pure yeast. Cryptococcus is a pure yeast. So it will be what? White color colonies. Okay. Like candida also, but candida is somewhat, uh, it's yeast like, but still that's also white color colonies. So white creamy, here white colonies. And in the Niger C, like that's what I'm saying. Cryptococcus is my Niger C. And one more thing, I forgot to tell, it is because of what? Pigeon droppings. Pigeons dropping se hota hai. Got it? So that's what they say. Be careful while you're growing pigeon at home or that, okay? Because that pigeon droplets may it lives and then suppose by inhalation, if it goes inside, you will have cryptococcus. You have to be careful with that. Okay. Yes. Now, Niger seed, agar if you use, you will get what? Black color colonies. The name itself says Niger seed, Niger seed, Niger seed. Niger seed means uh, you know, it's like uh, the black color colonies will grow. That proves that it is a cryptococcus. Other one is capsule. You know how to stain. What is that? It's the negative stains. Negative stain. You can use either Indian ink or negrosin. We have repeated many times. Okay, Indian ink or negrosin. Negative people, Indians and Ni Nigerians are negative people. Okay, so remember that. Okay, so pictures many times repeated. So I'm not cryptococcus pictures not needed. So fine. Now let's go to another interesting topic. That is the pneumocystis. Almost we are coming to the end. We have only three more left. So, uh, pneumocystis jarawaki, otherwise also called pneumocystis carni pneumonia. There was always, a, you know, it was between parasite and fungi, it was confused all the time. Now, finally, they put a pneumocystis jarawaki under fungi only. Okay. So, usually it's considered protozoan because of this trophozoite and cyst form. But now it's a fungi. But genetically, they modified in the scene that it belongs to fungi group only. So, it's seen which patient? HIV patients. Question, question, HIV. Your cryptococcus was also, I mean, all these opportunistic infections are common in immunocompromised patients. That's what I want to say. Okay. So, candida also common, crypto also common HIV patient, and pneumocystis jarovich also. Pneumocystis jarovich, seen HIV patient, and it, the disease name is called plasma cell pneumonia. It's called plasma cell pneumonia. PCP, plasma cell pneumonia. Like pleuro pneumonia like organism. You remember, pleuro pneumonia like organism is. PPLO organism is your mycoplasma. Okay, PPLO is your mycoplasma. Here, plasma cell pneumonia is your pneumocystis zerovishi. Remember that. Two important things. Okay, PPLO is your mycoplasma. Okay, when the CD4 cell goes below how much? 200. When the CD4 comes below 200, you get the plasma cell pneumonia. Okay, that's it. Now, diagnostic. Diagnostic part, you use what? Gomori methanamine silver stain. You use the Gomori methanamine silver stain. This is the stain. Gomori, uh, Gomori methanamine silver. The name itself says silver. Okay, we told the special stain. So, see, you see the cyst is black color. This is the cyst. The black color is the cyst. And the green color, which is not very clear, we said they are trophozoite. Trophozoites. Okay. So anything black, cyst like appearance, giving clue of, you know, pneumonia, patient HIV history, seems to be a fungus, then you have to just simply think about which one you are. Pneumocystis zero wishy. That's it. Okay. Very simple. This question has been repeated many times. That's why I'm stressing here. So please remember. So pneumocystis zero wishy is one of the, uh, when CD4 comes to less than 200, it causes severe pneumonia. Okay. Yeah. So next is aspergillus. Uh, as well, see, because in HIV patient, pneumonia is confused with tuberculosis common, and we have streptococcus pneumonia also common, and other one is your pneumosis zerovisi. So all the things are important when your HIV comes, you have to think about everything. Okay, yes. Now the uh, aspergillus. Aspergillus, we have many species. Aspergillus, uh, niger, fumigatus, fagus, etc. Niger, it causes, niger means it's a fear, otomycosis. Automycosis. Automycosis means it's a fear infection. Ear infection, I get to the black, black, black color, which is Niger. That is Niger. So Niger means black color colonies. Okay. Next is your Aspergillus. 
फाउस एज पर जेलस फाउस फाउस यूजुअली प्रोड्यूस द टॉक्सिन अफ्लोटॉक्सिन सो अफ्लोटॉक्सिन मतलब यू नो दैट्स क्वेश्चन अफ्लोटॉक्सिन फाउस हेफर हेफ हेफर फ्लावर अफ्लोटॉक्सिन 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 कॉजेस व्हाट हेपेटिक कार्सिनोमा hepatocellular or liver carcinoma it's very common hepatocellular carcinoma and infection in burn patient also but most commonly remember it's the visceral carcinoma now fumigatus in fumigatus aspergillus fumigatus cause many diseases one of the disease you know allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis okay it's common in a, our asthma patient bronchial asthma patients it's very very common allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis and also during covid time you see a lot of infection came because of aspergillus species automycosis also it causes ear infection oclo eye infection both eye and ear infection was causing really bad one and aspergilloma fungal ward you see in this picture this one this question can be asked in a radiological point of view or in medicine also this one the patient has exposed to this you know fungus and identify what like this question comes this fungal ball this is the ball aspergilloma or fungal ball that's the fungal ball or aspergilloma this question was asked many times okay fungal ball or aspergilloma okay aspergilloma or fungal balls so diagnosis how would be usually it's green color colony and the most important thing is that the picture how it looks in lpcb media you see here see this picture this is the picture you have to uh, talk here the sorry the picture is bit above so how does it look you see how it is it is the it is acute angle 45 degree acute angle an acute angle and you can see what septase you can see septase okay in picture it's not very clear but there will be septate so septate acute angle and septate 45 degree acute angle septate it's, it's like this okay branching of course branching septase branching septase like this they will be branching but what happened in 45 degree the angle is 45 degree and you can see always septase septa will be there everywhere there is a septa okay that's it so this is for aspergillus aspergillus is acute a for a or acute what do you remember septate hyphae acute angle septate hyphae okay got it yes now then so this is for your uh, aspergillus now we are going to which one your last topic mucormycosis one of the very very dangerous one during a covid time do you remember so mucormycosis otherwise called zygomycosis mucormycosis otherwise called zygomycosis and now what are the things important here the costive agent there are many many species but then three important things one is what your rhizopus another one is your mucor another one is your absidia 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 so see this picture uh first one rhizopus may root is positive you see rhizoids or root is positive root okay rhizoids may root is positive exactly niche roots hota hai mucor may no roots no roots or rhizopus nahi hota hai that's mucor mucor may no rhizoid absidia may intermittently it's present see here are the roots but they are intermittent they are intermittent not below the not below the sporangium four it is just intermittently present that's it okay idea is you have to remember there is no root in mucor me root nahi hai that's it this is you have to remember okay right so three things and the most common presentation the most common presentation of uh, mucor mycosis zygomycosis is what it causes the uh, oclo sera reno i will add reno oclo cerebral disease you saw in uh, covid time what would happen the infection started in the nose and goes to the eyes and goes to the brain okay that much complicated mucormycosis because it grows very very fast okay they call they uh, you know it's a uh, uh, rapid growth they are rapid it comes under rapid grower category that's what it's dangerous okay so it is the most common presentation is the reno ocular cerebral disease is the common question here and another dangerous thing is what they are usually what angio invasive they invade the vessels that's the problem they invade your arteries and veins and if they are in occlude the arteries what happen you will have ischemia necrosis and that's what everything becomes black 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 you got it that's important that's that's what i'm going to stress here okay predisposing factors are again important malignancy and steroids and iron chelators this also question asked apart from diabetic ketoacidosis in diabetic ketoacidosis also diabetic ketoacidosis malignancy steroid and iron especially in the iron when you taking the iron in it for them you have this thing so now how does it looks how does this uh, diagnosis may how you will see you see this picture here you see the picture see there are broad they are broad aseptic they are broad broad angled it's not acute you know you see here they are like this like this broad angle like this 
not acute. Acute to aise hona chahiye na. It should be acute like this. Here they are broad sometimes and broad angle and aseptate. Broad angle and aseptate hyphae. Broad angle and aseptate hyphae. That's important. Okay, broad angle and aseptate hyphae. Right. Okay. Now treatment. Finally. Treatment is, of course, one we saw in posoconazole. We saw posoconazole can be used, but of course, amphotericin B effective. Liposomal amphotericin B is very, very effective. Liposomal amphotericin B is less toxic compared to amphotericin B directly. Amphotericin B causes a lot of nephrotoxicity, hepatotoxicity, a lot of uh, side effects. So to decrease that, we got liposomal amphotericin B. That's it. Okay. Very simple. So this much only. Dimorphic and systemic. Not even, it, it, it hardly took, you know, uh, 30 minutes. So it's easy, easy. In rapid revision session, I will make it even more easier for you to remember. But please, <coughs> excuse me. Whatever I stressed you, don't forget. Okay. This is the way they'll ask you the question. So mucormycosis and uh, aspergillus, cut this thing. Okay. That's it. Thank you so much. We'll see you. So mycology is over. So the next, mostly it will be uh, parasitology. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much.